Chef Buck here and today we're going to cook up some delicious Korean style chicken wings. We're going to be using gochujang sauce and this is what's going to make it Korean. And this is pretty easy to find. You know, I got this at uh, just a regular big box grocery store. And if you don't find gochujang sauce, you know, just use barbecue sauce. It's not going to be as Korean, but we're also going to be putting rice wine vinegar in here, uh, soy sauce, sesame oil. So even if you're just using regular barbecue sauce, it's still going to have that, you know, Asian attitude because of these other ingredients that we're going to put in here. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is throw our sauce together, which is super duper simple to do. So let's get our soy sauce here. Boom, we're going to put in about a quarter cup. You know, we're just going to eyeball these ingredients because it's a sauce. You know, sauce is, you know, you got to be artistic with your sauce. You know, follow your heart with these ingredients. You know, if you're in the ballpark, you're still seeing the game. But it does help to have an idea what the proportions you want yeah, to start yeah, yeah. with. Yeah, you know, the proportions, you know, but proportion isn't everything. You could be a little bit out of proportion and you're still all right. Then we're going to put a little bit of rice wine vinegar in here. Boom, boom, boom. So about half as much? No, no, no. See, look at that. I'll, I'll even put a little bit more to show you how uh, open to interpretation I am. And then we're going to do a dish dash of sesame oil. Now, you know, don't be as crazy with the sesame oil. Little goes a long, a long way. way. So that looked like about a teaspoon. No, that was about a teaspoon. Nope. Now we'll throw our gochujang sauce in here. Boom, boom, boom. It's like a paste. Alrighty, now I got some garlic here. This is minced up, super duper minced up. Since we're putting this stuff in a sauce, we really want to mince it well. Same with the ginger. Mm. You know, I really wish I had my mortar and pestle. You know, then I would grind it up and make it into a paste. But as fine as you can chop it up. And then we'll go ahead and give it a whisk. Get it nice and mixed together. And we're not going to put any other seasonings in here. You could add some salt if you want, but you don't really need salt. I mean, there's plenty of salt in the soy sauce. I'm using low sodium soy sauce and there's still plenty of salt in here. There's going to be salt in your gochujang sauce. You know, so this thing's already salted up. Whisk, 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 whisk. Now we'll just leave that alone. Got my uh, chicken wings here and these here are all together. You know, you got your drum mat, you got your flat and you got your tip. Uh, the last time I bought a batch of these, you know, the drumette and the flat was already separated and we didn't even have a wing tip. But you know, this is the best buy right now, so this is what I got. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and process this. So we're going to go ahead and separate the tip. I'm going to save the tips though and use it to make a broth. And you can see it's very easy to do this here. So if you buy your wings, you know, just like this here, if, if, if the best buy is all together and you got to process them at home then do it you know as long as you've got a decent knife it's not a problem you just find that joint in between them put a little brute strength down there and there you have it now this sauce here the amount that we made this is plenty you know I could probably do two and a half pounds of wings with this here no problem and what I got here is a little less than two pounds almost two pounds well actually it's probably definitely less than two because I've separated the uh, tips there but that's okay because we're going to use a lot of this sauce because I'm going to go ahead and sauce it up sauce it but then as it's cooking I'm going to go ahead and uh, baste it so get it all nice and coated up there it smells wunderbar get all those flavors mixed up in your wings alrighty this looks like a preview from the next Rob Zombie movie alright now you want to get you a nice baking pan and I've got this covered with aluminium foil. You know, otherwise it's gonna be a mess. So go ahead and foil it up. You'll be glad you did. And then I got a wire rack. I always like to cook my wings. I always like to bake them on a wire rack. You know, that way the heat can circulate. You know, they'll just end up not being as saucy. If it's just sitting on the pan with the sauce and then you're basting it with the sauce as it cooks, it just gets too wet. It's just too much. It's too much. Now we'll go ahead and lay these out. So we got them spread out on a rack there, a little bit of space in between them. And we're gonna go ahead and slide them in the oven. And I got it preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna go ahead and set our timer for a half hour. We'll let them cook away for about 30 minutes, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put a little bit more sauce on them. We'll see you then. Beep, 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 beep. All right, so it has been about 25 minutes. 
So not quite a half hour, but we're in uh, CG's mom's house and her oven is cooking it up. So we're gonna go ahead and give our drumettes and our flats a flip right here. We got a nice little uh, char going there on the top where that sauce is, but the bottom looks kind of sad. So we're gonna go ahead and turn them over and then we'll put a little bit more sauce on the bottom here. And I can't find a brush in this kitchen, so I'm just gonna spoon a little bit of the sauce on here. But that's all right. You gotta improvise. I can you gotta give you my toothbrush. Do. You got other uses for your toothbrush, dog. We gotta <laughs> clean my shoes. <laughs> And when I made this sauce, I didn't put any sugar in here. You can add some honey, you can add some brown sugar, but I don't think it's necessary because the gochujang sauce, you know, it's already got some sweetness in there. But now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slide it back in the oven. Boom, boom, boom. And then we'll let it cook away until we feel like it's done. Well, it's what's your be done. well, what's your guess? Ah, uh, probably about 15 minutes. We'll check on it, see what happens. Beep, 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 beep. Alrighty, so it has been another 15 minutes. You can hear it crackling away. And those look super duper done to me. Now the total cooking time for this has been about 45 minutes. But you're going to have to adjust that cooking time depending on the size of your wings. Now if we eat these right now, it's going to be lethal and we're going to die. So we're going to give those a few minutes to rest up there. But I'm going to go ahead and fix up a garnish here. Now. Uh, kind of a traditional garnish for these Korean wings is some green onion and some sesame seeds. But you want to make sure when you do your green onion that you chop it up nice and thin. Just some nice thin slices. You know, just like that. You don't want any big chunky chunks of green onion. And for the sesame seeds, boom, go ahead and toast them. I mean, your oven's already warm, so just toast them up. It'll make all the difference. If they're still warm, you're going to make them less crunchy, aren't you? Well, they're not really going to be crunchy. What? I mean, these, these, aren't, these aren't crunchy wings because we cooked them in the sauce. You know, if you want a crunchy wing recipe, you know, I'll have a link around here. If you like your wings nice and crisp, you know, you bread them and you bake them. They come out super duper crispy. You know, I'll have, I'll have a link for that recipe. You can always fry them. That's the traditional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But frying is a pain in the butt. It's and messy. these taste better. These taste so fantastic. And it's so easy to cook. You don't have to fry chicken wings. Frying chicken wings is for ding a -lings. Oh that my lord. Anyway. Get them ready to eat, boy. Yeah. Well, we'll go ahead and throw a garnish on here. Sesame seeds got a lot of flavor. You got a nice little char on those wings. And that garnish turns it into a nice little pretty picture. Now, if you're going to eat this like a savage, you know, on the couch in front of the TV, you can skip the garnish because then this garnish will end up all over your attire. You know, but if you're gonna eat it at the table like a classy person, then garnish away. All right, I think they've uh, cooled down enough to sample. Well, here, I'll get a flat, because camera girl likes the, uh, the drum mats. And the way you eat a flat is you put the whole thing in your mouth. No. And then you pull it out. Savage. Oh, good Lord. Now, can you even enjoy that big a bite? Mm. I'm so going to enjoy it. <laughs> the Koju Jang sauce. It is just such a great flavor. And it is a red pepper sauce, but it's not crazy hot. Let me finish this one, then you can eat one. <laughs> Get one of your drumettes. Knock yourself out. Well, I'm not eating it in one bite, I can tell you that. Especially not on camera. That's because you're a lady. <laughs> is it too hot for you? Oh, no. Definitely not too hot. I don't want people to get scared. I mean, it's definitely tangy. I mean, if you don't like any heat at all, then you don't want to have this, but... Well, maybe not. If you like just a little bit of a... a waft of heat... Wait. <laughs> mm -hmm. Waft? Then this might be a, a good they're choice tender. for you. they tender. They're a good comfort food. Come on over here with that camera, dude. I took my, my wing tips and I threw them in a pot with an old piece of onion and an old piece of celery and some seasoning so we got a little bit of broth going there so we're not wasting any of our wings. Go to myfoodchannel.com you can print this recipe out over there. Print all our recipes, check out our videos, subscribe, thumbs it up, ring the bell, knock on your neighbor's door, say hello, be friends, be nice to people uh, and it'll come back to you. Can we I eat now? <laughs>